This is a 2013 image taken by Alma's submillimeter array. Focuses on the large infrared dark cloud G34, and then on one of the energetic knots near the north of it, known as dark cores, where a baby star is energetically roaring to life. Infrared dark clouds are dense column filament structures known to be major hubs for star formation. These would be the junior varsity versions of the massive cosmic filaments of the cosmic web, where galaxies are known to form. Same idea, just on a smaller scale here, within those galaxies, in terms of star formation. This was actually one of the first rabbit holes I dug looking into cosmic structure at large scales. The existence and structure is said to be a gravitational anomaly of space, one that repeats at scales small to large across the cosmos. It has long been our contention that the molecular flows within these filaments represent currents, and that evidence of a properly wrapped and oriented magnetic field would be a tremendous leap towards realizing this fact. It is the motion of the molecular flows, as dictated by a 2010 paper, which I didn't find until 2013 when ALMA released their image, that really gives away the nature of the organized electromagnetic action shaping the universe's grandest phenomena, including these infrared dark clouds. And so here we come to it, 2018. Nearly eight years have gone by since the flow structure was revealed, about half a decade has passed since the star formation in these regions was incredibly imaged by ALMA. On the side, we see an image of magnetic fields in the newest paper, detected around the hot cores of greatest star formation. As you can see, they are not all the same, but it is their differences that are more telling than would be a homogeneous field sphere around them. We see that the magnetic fields detected are either found perpendicular or parallel to the G34 filament axis running along the entire mass of structure. That is indicative of the same type of magnetic fields that surround and wrap around an electric current, and at the northern portion, the parallel fields are like those dragged by the outflowing material, which is heaviest in the northern section. This is a critical step towards understanding how currents and fields may be shaping not only infrared dark clouds in their star-forming regions, but also the much grander filaments of the cosmic web. Be safe, everyone.